Fire in the hole. Let's cook a hanger steak. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello and welcome once again to my barbecue grill. I don't. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. I got these hanger steaks, and uh, I was going to show you all about hanger steaks and how to trim them, but apparently my butcher has already trimmed them, and I didn't know it. I opened the package and I'm like, "Where's the tendon?" There's supposed to be a tendon here that you have to trim off and it's apparently gone. He's already trimmed these up. In fact, he did a beautiful job. He took all the silver skin off and a lot of the fat. In fact, I'm not going to trim anything off of them. They're already beautifully trimmed. I don't know what to do, but anyway, yeah, these are hanger steaks. These are, uh, this is two hanger steaks. Well, they normally come attached and you have to separate them. They're, and they're attached by a tendon that you normally have to uh, trim off there. But apparently, my butcher, in a rare moment of perspicacity, decided to uh, do all the work himself. So I, I've got nothing to show you. I, there was like a little tiny piece of a tendon there that I was gonna trim off and I, I, didn't, I don't even see it anymore. It's all gone. He took all the tendon off of the hanger steaks. Yeah, these are hanger steaks. Uh, what this is, is it's a, there, there's one to each animal. There's two of them there. It looks like four because they're cut in half. But each animal has a hanger steak. It's attached to the diaphragm. And it looks like you can see from the, uh, the, the grain of this thing. It looks like kind of like a skirt steak, but it's not. It's thicker than a skirt steak. And this has got a great beefy flavor. Amazing uh, steak is what it is. And for a long time, you couldn't get these. The butchers would take them home. They called them uh, butcher steak. Just for that reason, they took them home. You couldn't get them. But they're becoming more and more available. Uh, they have them at Omaha Steaks, frozen. They have them at Wild Fork. They have them other places. Anyway, yeah, I was gonna show you how to trim the uh, tendon out, and the butcher already did it for me, so I don't know what to say. Shoot, you ruined my video, butcher. <laughs> Hanger steaks. Anyway, what we're gonna do is, let's get some of that uh, Terra de Marrakesh over here. Come over here. Yeah, we're just going to uh, slather on some of the old Terra de Marrakesh. This is a fine uh, Moroccan olive oil. Just going to slather that on there a little bit. It really doesn't even need that because it's got, it's already kind of wet. Slather them down with that olive oil. And I've got some uh, Lane's SBG, one of my favorite seasonings. And we're going to uh, sprinkle this Lane's SBG on there generously on both sides of each steak, like that. And I'm gonna leave these in this container to brine while I make a chimichurri sauce to serve with these steaks. And I'm very sorry that my butcher trimmed off the tendon. I really was looking forward to showing you that. Last time he didn't do that. And I was like, what the heck? I'm gonna have to have a talk with that boy. Yeah, gonna get that SPG on there. I'm going to flip them over and get the other side. I'm going to set them aside and let them uh, dry brine in that SPG for a while. I got my Weber uh, sear grate going with a nice hot fire. I got to get that fire. has got to get really hot because these have to get uh, seared up in real time. I'll show you. So anyway, let me get the other side of these uh, seasoned up and we'll make a chimichurri to serve with this. Okay, so stay tuned. So I don't know if I was recording or not, but uh, apparently the camera shut off for some reason. Anyway, I've got some cilantro, fresh cilantro, some fresh parsley, four large cloves of garlic, salt, pepper, and garlic in there in my uh, mini food chopper. And I've got some uh, crushed red pepper to go in there. Got to get that off there. Just enough to give it some, uh, some character, you know. Not too much heat, but enough so you taste it. Let's say about a tablespoon of that in there. I hope we're recording. I can't believe uh, I might have missed out on the whole first part of this with the cilantro and the uh, parsley. Then we got a little bit of red wine vinegar to put in there. Let's get some of that in there. About, about a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. I'll put a, uh, a recipe in the description for you if you need a recipe. Some people like a recipe. And then I've got the Terra de Marrakesh, the fine 
Moroccan olive oil, extra virgin olive oil from 100 year old olive trees. We'll put some of that in there. And that will conclude our chimichurri. Get that all mixed up together and I'll put that in this container over here. Yeah, that's looking good. Anyway, I'll dump that into this container for use later. And uh, we're going to get our steaks on the fire soon. So stay tuned. All right, I got a good hot fire going on my uh, Weber kettle. I cut the hanger steaks in half to make them easier to handle. I'm going to drop them on there two at a time, right on the hot fire. There's one. I don't think I could probably fit three, three at a time. There we go. On the good hot fire, I got my instant read thermometer standing by. I'm just going to uh, give them a good sear on each side, about two minutes on each side. And then I will check their temperature. When they get to 120 degrees, 125 degrees, I'm going to pull them off there and let them rest. Because I don't want them to get past rare for me. I'll cook a couple of them for my wife to medium rare, about 130 degrees. But uh, for me, no more past rare. That's the way I like my meat. So I'm letting them sit on there and get seared up real well. Let's flip this one over. He's got, got some pretty much sear going on him. Oh yeah, look at that. He's got it going on. I think we can flip this one over too. Oh yeah. Beautiful crust coming on that hanger steak. Look at that. The Weber sear grate's doing its work. Yeah, let me uh, get them cooked up. I gotta check their temperature. I don't want them to get past, like I said, 125 internal. Uh, they're not nowhere near it, so I'm good to go. We're only at about 100 degrees internal. 113 on that one. 118 on that one. Oops, that's hot, hot fire. Yeah, okay. Let me get them uh, seared up. Get a little crustification going on there. A little crustification on my hanger steaks. Pretty nice. Pretty nice looking steaks. These are some delicious steaks. I wish you could smell that. I wish you could taste it. Anyway, yeah, let me get them cooked up and we'll uh, put them on a plate, dress them up with some of that chimichurri, and we'll take a taste and drink a beer. So stay tuned. My hanger steak is done. Uh, video had a couple of problems. I forgot to hit record for the uh, chimichurri and also my butcher trimmed the hanger steak. But aside from that, look at this beer. A very prophetic beer. Why do I say that? Deadhead IPA. Support flavor boycott bland. This is Distilled Brewing Company. Deadhead IPA. You know that's a reference to the Grateful Dead. And you know who just died? Phil Lesh, the bass player, he just died this week, 80 years old. I'm pouring one out for Phil. This one's for Phil and Jerry, and I think Brent Midland just died too, the keyboard player. I'm not 100% sure about that, Rob, but distill 7% alcohol by volume. We're pouring this one out for Phil Lesh, the Grateful Dead bass player. This one's for you, Phil. Cheers. Wow, that's a great IPA. You can smell the hints of uh, like pine scent in it. it. Tastes delicious. Anyway, let me get my uh, hanger steak over here and get a taste of it. Maybe that won't go wrong. Stay tuned. Yeah, my hanger steak turned out great. Let's show you what that looks like. Isn't that beautiful? That chimichurri sauce on there. This stuff's amazing. I can't get, wait to get a piece of this in my mouth. I know it's going to be good. I love chimichurri too. Oh, man. That's just the best. I got to tell you. Wow. What it is, it tastes like a cross between a skirt steak and a beef tenderloin. 
It's a little chewy, not much, but the flavor is impeccable. I'll tell you, I would eat, I would eat hanger steak every day of the week. It's not expensive either. Mmm, so good. That chimichurri is so delicious too. I wish you could have seen the first part of me making it. I think I forgot to press record. Anyway, yeah. This one's for Phil. For Phil Lesh, babies. You know, uh, it's real sad when you get old and all your heroes are dying. People you admire, all dead and gone. You're probably going to say, well, this is the Grateful Dead. That means you're old anyway. Yeah, okay. That's true. It's true. Anyway, if you can get all of some hanger steak, please do. And uh, give it a shot. It's delicious. Easy to cook. It's easy to trim, too. Especially when you got a butcher like mine who trims it for you. I wanted to show you how to get that uh, tendon off there. It's so easy. But he already took it off for me. I tell you, I can't stop eating it. It's so delicious. That chimichurri sauce makes it. Mmm. 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 That's one of the top ten steaks I've ever had. Anyway, babies, you know what I always say. Sorry about Phil Lesh. You know, everybody comes to an end. What I always say is, if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go on the iCard. It's right there. And check out Charlie and... <laughs> I completely spaced out of the other guy's name. I'm sorry. Just cook the damn food. That's what I'm sending you to. Uh, two, two guys. Great guys. Nice guys. Charlie and... I wish I could remember his name. I can't. I'm sorry. Charlie's buddy, I'm so sorry. Anyway, go check out Just Cook the Damn Food in the iCard. Subscribe to me, The Root Boy Cooks. Hey, I like my shirt. And uh, come back next week. Maybe we won't screw up so bad. Maybe we'll press play on the, press record on the camera. Maybe the butcher <laughs> will leave us some work to do. He, he took all the tendon off the meat. I can't believe it. I couldn't believe it when I opened the package. And it was all trimmed up. The last one had all the tendons and all the connective tissue on it. I had to trim it all up. Anyway. Yeah, that's my video, babies. Anyway, see you next week. Bye.